Hello everyone, Marvel Snap has released on Steam with full widescreen support, and to celebrate, there's gonna be some exciting events running throughout the entire week. And so first off, thank you Marvel Snap for sponsoring today's video. So starting off with the celebration, the events that are running, we have Twitch drops that are dropping. You can watch up to six hours to earn three card variants and more between 822 and 829. They're also adding in another new login bonus. So every day of the week is going to be a new login bonus including a premium mystery variant between 822 and 829. So make sure you are checking your daily missions. Make sure you're checking that new login bonus. And for anyone that's returning to Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap won mobile game of the year in December. It's a collectible card game that is known for its fast game, deep strategy, deck building, and amazing art from beloved comic artists. There are over 220 cards in the game, 115 locations, and 1300 unique card variants one new card is added every week to add a spice so you're always continuing to change and evolve your strategy and the game doesn't ever end up feeling stale because there's always something new being added into the game and for today's deck we're going to be showcasing a wong on reveal now this is something that comes in and out of the meta from time to time but it is truly something that can evolve as your collection grows even if you're just entering pool three, if you just target or unlock Wong early, then that gives you an incredible reach to do some really kind of high roll or consistent power outputs. And so if you're early on in pool three, it's gonna look more something like this with Chavez. It's not gonna have the Doctor Doom or any of the fancy bells and whistles, but it can still put out a lot of power very consistently. And then as your collection progresses, it's gonna evolve into something more like what we're running today, which is a version that runs quite a few pool three cards, nothing deep into pool four or five. So it's still gonna be pretty easy to access, but it runs some really cool combos that may not be easy to identify at first glance. So we have the Wong, of course, doing an Ironheart or a Wong into Ironheart into Odin can do an absurd amount of triggers. Do, dropping Odin into the Wong lane is going to trigger Odin twice and any on reveals in that lane will trigger four additional times. And so Ironheart can get really big really quick. Same thing with Black Panther. We can drop a Black Widow early. That way it adds a little bit of disruption. If we then follow that up with a wave into an Odin, we can then send them another Widow's Bite and they can't use it for that turn. So we're gonna restrict them from drawing three turns in that game. Or something that I really like to do is if you have Wong, Psylocke, and Wave, you can do Wong on four, Psylocke and Wave on five. Psylocke into the Wong lane is gonna give you just enough extra energy to have eight energy on turn number six. The Wave is gonna restrict the opponent to one card, and then you can drop two. So you can drop a Doctor Doom and an Odin on that last turn to get some insane reach over what your opponent can do. And it's gonna have that little bit of surprise element that they're really not gonna be anticipating. And Wave can be so disruptive to so many decks right now. And so we're gonna be jumping into a couple of games, but before we do, if you want an exclusive Mech Devil Dino variant, use my link in the description below to download Marvel Snap on Steam, and the variant is all yours. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump over into a couple of games. I hope you guys enjoy. If they have Rogue, this is a pretty solid play for us. That's gonna add in two Widow's Bites into their hand that they'll have to get rid of. They won't draw this turn for the Mr. Negative. Um, we, could, we could buff up these cards. I kind of like that idea. And then on the last turn, or last couple turns, we're looking at wave into like a double Doctor Doom. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send the Widow's Bites their way. We're going to hope they don't have it. And so they're going to have to clear both of those to get any potential draw now, which is phenomenal value. As you guys know, the Iron Man comes down decent value, decent value in mid, but they will have to get rid of their Widow's Bites. One here makes a lot of sense. I think we go wave into maybe an Odin to re-trigger the Ironheart four times. That would clear left and right. And then their mid lo location is a little bit uh, problematic. Ooh, so they go very heavy here. That's unfortunate. The Mystique copies the Iron Man. Uh, I was honestly hoping they would hold out for the last turn flood. They don't. Ooh, the Arnold Zola onto the inverted Mystique is big. They don't change Limbo on us, do they? Okay, the Widow's Bite and then the Widow's Bite. Makes makes a lot of sense. Okay. All right, so this triggering four times is going to target 12 total cards for a total of 24 power. It should net us about 10 extra here, bringing us up to 22. Do we think that is 
more worthwhile than like a, a double. Yeah, I think that's more worthwhile than the Doctor Doom. We're already here. We're committed. Uh, we're going to see it play out. The Iron Heart into the Wong is always really big. Hopefully that left lane is not too massive, but let's see. The Odin hopefully brings us up to 21 plus. Okay, good start. Great start. Um, that's two triggers. We need a couple more. The more we can get over there, the more confident we are going to feel. Okay, uh, we miss it all entirely. The left lane, okay. So just the Iron Heart, depending on where that hits, it did not hit where they needed to. We are going to grab it, the quick, the early, the easy eight cubes, and that is looking very promising. Okay, so that left location is scary for them having so many ongoings. Now, if we can get a Wong to trigger over there, huge value. Uh, we do have the Black Panther into Arnold Zola line this game, so that may be more where we're pushing our power. And so this deck has a couple of alternate play lines. It can either go wide or really tall. Um, that's one of the things that I like about this deck in particular is that it has so many flexible lines of play. We can do our Psylocke here to try to ramp into uh, a Wong next turn, but we don't have it, so it's just a gamble. I think we're going to do Wave. Or I think we're going to skip here. And then we're going to wait and see. They have Psylocke on two. Mr. Negative on three would be kind of scary. Ooh, and we could have ramped into Wong. It was the one out of seven, so like not like that's going to happen all that often, but it still stings a little bit for sure. Um, Now we could do Wong, Black Panther, Arnold Zola. And that's a lot of power. Let's go ahead and push them all in. Let's make them commit. We have not seen the rogue come down. I, I assume it's in their deck, but we haven't seen it come down. They know we have wave now, so they'll probably play it accordingly. They didn't have Mr. Negative, but they do have Wong. So Wong into Ironheart, Wong into Mystique, into Ironheart, into just some of those really big, big plays is going to be very, very scary. I'm still uncertain. Oh, actually, Starlight Citadel is going to switch the... Uh, unless they do magic. Do they have magic? They have to, right? That's the only reason they would play in Onslaught Citadel. We're going to follow their lead, assume that they magic and start... No, okay. So Starlight Onslaught Citadel, it will shift because of the Starlight Citadel. We played into what we thought they were going to do, and I guess it was uh, I guess it was wrong. That's fine. All right, so Muir Island is also decent for our Black Panther. And then once we hit it with Arnim Zola, it should be okay. Now, depending on where they play, if we have initiative going to this last turn, we don't have to worry about the Rogue. Uh, let's go Black Panther and see. They do you... Oh, that is going to be a really, really big Dane Foster. It looks like they pulled how many cards? Just one? One zero cost card. They always they always rogue here, but this is our best chance regardless. Um, and so we're going to do the Arnim Zola. If they rogue, we hope that Arnim Zola hits the Black Panther and we can uh, win the other two lanes as a result. If they don't rogue, then I think we are in very good shape here. We'll see. Okay, Iron Man. Uh, this may be a higher roll, so it may not be the Silver Surfer. It doesn't look like it is. Iron Man into Mystique in mid. That is a big middle location into the Arnold Zola, which pushes both of those cards over into mid and right. Oh my gosh, the uh, the middle lane is stacked. There's nothing we can do there. We might have a chance of overcoming the right lane. Maybe, maybe if Wong triggers the correct way, maybe we have a chance. Um, actually, no, I think regardless. Yeah, it didn't do in the right order. Wong into Black Panther is perfect, but it's a 50-50 flip whenever that happens. We still beat the right lane regardless. The oh, we tie in the left lane, so we may have even been able to overcome the middle lane had it went the right way because it would have triggered one more time. No, I think we push them all in every game or every I think we push them all in every round. Now we may end up saving who if we can get Wong, this can be the this can be the line that I spoke about in the intro of the Wong into Psylocke into Wave on five. We can do two drops, they can do one, is a huge way to swing a game back in your favor. Let's go. <laughs> I am confident enough 
that I would snap here even if this was round one and we had full cubes. We're not going to use Psylocke to cheat Wong out this game. Uh, this one is going to be much more in line with doing uh, the, the Psylocke into wave combo. I think that's going to be more beneficial knowing that they have the uh, the Mr. Negative that will invert the cards. And, ooh, Dream Dimension is tough though. We don't like seeing Dream Dimension here. We can hope that they magic it. That's a Mr. Negative, not a magic. Oy, okay. If uh, if they don't change that right location, um, then we're just doing like a wave into a, a double Doctor Doom. It won't be big, but that would be really all we could do. So the Wong here. They have the Wong there. Wong here, Wong there, Wong everywhere. Let's go with wave this turn. We're not going to get to do anything else, unfortunately. That was going to be a great line. Dream Dimension had other plans, unfortunately. Let's go the wave route. And then Dr. Doom on the last turn will be our only drop. Hopefully they can't do something impactful here. So they we know they won't be able to do... I guess they could really, depending on if it got hit, they can't do Jane Foster to get the additional reach. They could do magic. But if they do, then we have Odin to re-trigger the wave. Ooh, the Psylocke. No way. No. They get to do two drops here. They, they pulled the Uno reverse on us. And so they have, oh, they have eight energy <laughs> to R6. Oh, that was a good play. I don't like it, but it was good. You can't deny that it was great. Uh, they do two drops in mid. I'm guessing an Arnold Zola? Iron Man. Okay. Iron Man. Iron Heart. Pumping. Not enough. Oh, enough. Yeah, plenty. Even if we're losing cubes, we can appreciate and respect uh, a good play when it happens. All right, so we have a Black Widow this round. Depending on how else our, our hand curves out, we have the Wong, the White Tiger, the Doctor Doom, which are all fantastic. Let's skip here. We want the rocks to clear. They won't be able to do a turn three Mr. Negative, though, so that helps us clear that. I don't know why we didn't snap earlier. Let's go ahead and snap. Danger Room's fine. We do have Wave. We could do Wave into Doctor Doom, but that's not fantastic. I think instead we're just going to go like Black Widow. We can go Black Widow here as well. So they do stick it out, and they play for Danger Room with Magic. Okay. You're playing with Magic now. They won't draw this turn, so if they have a Mr. Negative, it didn't really help us any it just helped them keep things in their hand where they needed them so they'd get inverted uh so the wong is going to come down black white tiger black panther may be uh what we need for for the lead in limbo eventually but we'll see what is bite and they did have mr negative so our our black widow actually just ends up helping them out which is kind of unfortunate we do have the wave into psylocke play now so I think we do that on turn six. We're going to try this one more time. We'll do t White Tiger. Next turn, we're going to do... Actually, well, we don't have to do Psylocke or Wave here, depending on where these Tigers go. We could do them both into mid, um, or we could do one in the right lane, really depending on what we think is going to be best. We have the Odin. We can fill up this lane fairly easily. I almost want to do this. That way we can do Black Panther and Odin, White Tiger and Odin. That'll fill up this lane. This lane's eh. So we have a two out of three chance of drawing into a really good resource this upcoming turn. Um, the wave is going to restrict them to probably two cards. It's going to restrict us to two cards, but it's any two cards. So they do flood this turn, which is which is smart. Against the wave play, you have to always anticipate and play around the wave. So the Wong, the Psylocke, yeah, yeah. They didn't even need to do the Wong Psylocke in that order to get it. And we get Nakia. That is Nakia what we wanted. So Odin here is going to be more, more beneficial um, than even our White, even our Doctor Doom. So we're just going to do this. It's we're gonna we're gonna lose this one. Black Panther could have helped us out a lot. Ironheart would have helped us out a tremendous amount. Six triggers on the last turn would be phenomenal. Oh. I guess they didn't have the resources they needed. I don't know. We will take it. We will gladly take it. 
Um, let's jump into the next one. All right, next up we have Hawk Fan. The first location is Lemuria, so our card is not going to reveal yet, uh, but we are going to throw Iceman for the early disruption. We don't have our Wong, but we do have the reduction from Titan, so we can always do uh, Odin into Arnim Zola. We could do Doctor Doom into Odin. There's a couple of cool lines that we can do with it. Now, they're going with a, a high evolutionary, maybe a Sheenot. So we have to look out for a leech on five or six if they extend the game. Um, is a potential, is always a potential concern now. Let's go with, let's go with Black Widow in the left. I'm not sure exactly how we want to navigate this one. The so Black Panther into Arnim Zola is always big. Or Black Panther into Odin is big as well. Uh, but it really, it really depends. So we do have Psylocke, but we are just going to skip and soak here. Or I guess we're not soaking. They're the one that's soaking. Uh, so they do have magic. This is probably the uh, the leech version. I, I would I would imagine having these two plus the leech, having a Killmonger teched in is something that I did for a while in place of Nakia, and honestly, might be viable. Um, unfortunately, so they have leech come down this turn. That way we can't really do much on the following turns to respond to what they have in place. Um, so then they'll be able to skip into a She-Hulk and whatever we can't change Limbo away. We'll take it as is. Uh, we'll take the one. Uh, I assume that they had what they needed in hand. Uh, like, probably at the start of the game. Uh, so we are going to retreat out of that one for one. We now have the Wong. We have Nakia into Wong into something. We also have Wong into Psylocke plus Wave. So if they don't extend the game with magic, we can lock them into one card on the last turn while we have two. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and I guess we'll clone the Psylocke for now. They'll be able to clone like Thunspot, Misty Knight, some of those other cards, and they haven't played anything yet, which makes me think that they don't have a great hand. So we're going to try and capitalize where we can. We're going to go ahead and play Wong for now. We could play Wong here. I think that would be uh, the Wong decision, though. So we're going to go ahead, I guess we could do Wong and then do another Wong and then like a really big Black Panther there, but uh, I think it's all right. They do magic. They do get the game extension. They have additional turns to like dig for those key cards. Uh, Leech, I think, is going to be one of the big proponents for them in this deck. Hopefully they don't get it. Uh, let's do, let's do Nakia and then we'll do Black Panther and we're hoping for the Arnold Zola line. Uh, we could always do... Arnim Zola into Odin if they don't have Leech. Now, Leech has been making his way back. Certain decks it does very well against. Other decks it does absolutely nothing against. And so it's it's a little bit of give and take. They throw Thing down on four instead of anything bigger. Let's go with Black Panther. Black Panther and we'll see. I don't know if I don't know if their current version or the most common version. I haven't ran the the Leech one for a while. I don't know if it has Shang-Chi. They go three cards here on turn number five. Misty Knight, Wasp, and the copy, and then Abomination. Okay, the Abomination makes makes quite a bit of sense, but I'm thinking maybe this isn't the Leecher one. Maybe this isn't the one I was thinking. So we can do Arnim Zola. As long as they don't have a Shang-Chi, I think we're okay. But we're kind of in uncharted territories. I think this is more of an Affliction Hazmat style. I don't think they're going to run Shang-Chi. But I've been I've been Wong before. If they if they don't have Shang Chi, then we have this one hands down. So the Cyclops is big, the Abomination is big. We are gonna go ahead and just Uno reverse the Wong out of that lane. Unfortunately, the Wong goes second, so Black Panther will trigger just one more time here. But we have an ace up our sleeve. We have a secret trick by them allowing us to get an extra turn here. We are gonna have one additional way to make this just an absurd an absurd amount of power. Uh, as long as they don't have Shang-Chi, that is. If they have Shang-Chi, then we are just drawing dead here. Otherwise, Odin into Arnim Zola is going to be a fantastic line. Uh, pushing the Odin into both mid and right, triggering it four more times. Those Black Panthers were about to just go absolutely insane. And uh, they gave us the fist bump, so I'm going to go ahead and fist bump them back. It is only courteous. Let's jump into the next one. All right, so we do have Black Widow, we have Nakia, we have Black Panther. So even if we don't 
uh, end up getting like the Wong or the Arnold Zola line. We can always push quite a bit in this left lane. The Vault will lock down. We have the White Tiger, the Black Panther. We have several ways to go wide with power. Let's go ahead and do Black Widow now. They didn't play anything on one, so they don't have Sunspot or Misty Knight starting out. And I think that is going to be a lot of their early game power is being able to just continue to absorb um, early on as they're floating some of their power. So they do Shocker, which does cause a reduction. Depending on what it causes a reduction for could be kind of scary. Now, this could be a, a version that runs Legion, maybe. Maybe they have a... Maybe they have a storm into legion combo and the shocker kind of makes it a little more uh consistent to a degree we have odin now so black panther into odin in baxter building would be big but we'll see <clears throat> just the just the widow's bite in mid they do use limb they do use magic in limbo so the vault will open back up on turn number seven so it shuts down only to open back up later so it's not going to be safe necessarily we could do Wave to do a Doctor Doom into an Odin, but with them having Affliction, I don't know that that's the path that we want to go with. I don't think that is our direction. Especially having the extra turn now. Uh, so let's go Black Panther. Maybe on 6 we go Ironheart plus Wave, and then on turn 7 we can go Odin. Um, and that would they would only be able to do one card, and maybe that would be enough to re-trigger in the left, pump enough in mid, I don't know. Alright, let's do Doctor Doom to try and go wide. We'll do Odin to go tall, um, and then we'll go from there. The Big Hulk is scary. We're not going to have Wave to restrict them to only one card. They will be able to fight for the Vault to a degree. Um, we could go Hail Mary Arnold Zola. We could just play it and do the 50-50. But this puts another four here, another four here. Can they beat that? They've already dropped Abomination. The left lane swinging back in our favor would be really big. Uh, let's do this. I think the extra three might surprise them from us taking actually a six power swing from us stealing Baxter building away, I think is going to be uh, what surprises them and wins us this game. The Misty Knight in the right is not huge. Um, I mean, it, it's two power. It's going to give another card a buff, but Retriggering a Black Panther in the left lane. We are going to pump power into mid and right. It doesn't matter. Their affliction, their soak, their destroy. We are in. We are out. We are able to bump up the Black Panther. And we are able to hold this one down. We didn't get the Wong interaction in this game. But to be fair, the first game we got Wong almost every time perfectly on curve. This one we had to get a little bit more scrappy, a little bit more strategic in how we drop those cards. But we are always able to find flexible ways to win. We're going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and a comment down below. And thank you, Marvel Snap, for sponsoring today's video. Later, guys.